All right, so here we go, F-123. So I've been playing this um, every day for like about an hour, practicing, you know, going to, to doing the, well, the practice programs. I kept on resetting it, kept setting the cars, um, setting up the car. Um, so... There was there was an update. I don't know if they updated the grip or not, but um, I I got a little bit better and better. It kept getting better, so I was playing this in between the uh, Gotham Knights. But anyway, here's race number one, and let's see. I chose the breaking point livery color. I thought it was very fitting. To do that, um, I don't know why the camera keep on doing the reverse thing, but um, so anyway, here we go with the first race of the season. I qualified dead last. <laughs> I can't even beat out my teammate, which um, I am so glad that Coderon is back. Tatiana Coderon is back and she is back on my team. She hasn't been back on my team since F1 2020. So anyway, enough of me yabbling on. And here we go. I got off into a great start. Look at this. Tired and spinning. I was like, whoa, they slowed down. Whoa, almost hit the wall. <laughs> and I was like, okay, let's let's settle down now. I almost got into an accident already. So, and I'm like, okay, just let them go. I'm just gonna warm up my tires for the first lap. And um I don't know. Do you guys think the game looks better than last year? The lighting looks better. But anyway, I'm just cruising along here, buying my time. They're over here fighting back here. And oh, look at that. He almost got bumped off the track. And I'm just like, okay, you guys keep fighting, but just don't pull me in the middle of it. And I am on soft, medium tires, just like last year. And my rear tires, um, well, I locked up on me on that turn back there I don't know if you heard it but it, it locked up on me and it's easy to lock up your tires in this game now so <laughs> there's this there's a lot of corners where I locked up the tires on over here I'm trying to go for the pass now and looks like an easy clean pass that I just did so that's one down um, so this first lap here, uh, I believe I only just passed one car, and I'm about to pass Botas, I believe, right up here. Yep, he's trying to give me the squeeze, and I'm like, oh, I got you now. I'm in your slipstream. Over here, I'm thinking about the dive bomb, and yes, I just picked up two more spots. Look at me go. I'm feeling confidence now. I've been practicing like crazy. I mean, I guess the game looks good. And here I come looking for another pass on my teammate. And I took her out wide. And I'm like, oh, come on, Tatiana. Follow me. Because she's on a different strategy. Right now, we, we don't have DRS yet. So I'm, I'm just playing it slow. Just driving, trying to creep up slowly. Um... And the differences between the grip between these tires is really noticeable. Really noticeable. noticeable. And as you can see, the AI, a lot of the AI is on soft tires too. So the AI strategy has improved this year. I am so happy about that. I'm looking forward into driving this year's car. I was thinking about going back to my Liberty Colors of last year, but when I saw this Liberty Color, I was like, you know, it's, it's very fitting. And I'm over here trying to go for another pass, and it looks like a very easy, clean pass. Again, I have no idea who that is, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going to do this video real quick. And I 
set the video i mean not the video the game long i, I didn't want to do the 35 percent race because i'm so used to doing long races anyway um so as i'm racing here i'm feeling really confident and i'm looking for another pass right here and i'm like nope let's just take my time here take my time to go for another pass and why is the replay in this mode but anyway it's supposed to be ultra wide mode but i guess i'm gonna have to fix the settings of the game later but next time just set it at 2k non ultra wide um i just went ahead and started recording right after i finished the race here but anyway we finally got the dls and i'm creeping up on somebody here that might be i have no idea who that is yeah somebody in alpha or male oh show okay so here we come i got into his slipstream and i'm going for the pass he's giving me a fight a little bit of a fight but he eventually let me go there's another pass down and i'm like oh yeah i'm i'm feeling it i'm in the groove right now i'm my whole focus right now is you know i can already feel the extra grip from the soft ties and right there that was totally unintentional dive bomb and i made it work <laughs> i totally forgot i break really late coming into there i don't know i was like whoo oh my god my my heart rate just jumped up there because that was not intentional because i was gonna play it slow and see if i can pass one car at the time but it kind of worked out in my favor but the livery on this car looks great uh, so i may keep this livery color for the rest of this season uh, and i even name my save at the butler global <laughs> so anyway here i come and i'm thinking um yeah just try to stay in the slipstream and stay in the drs uh hopefully i'll catch up to him uh but yeah i'm 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 really catching up to him and now i'm feeling good right now i'm in 13th spot and i'm thinking okay i'm almost into the points just take it easy and I, right there i'm looking for a pass i'm gonna fake going in on on the inside and see if i can get a little pass out here he's giving me a little fight i gave him plenty of room no touches there easy pass i'm in 12th place now and i'm staring down lando norris i really want to ride with lando norris but lando norris but then again i'm thinking of sticking with female drivers for this season i'm gonna stick with tatiana maybe through half of the season and then maybe hire on the breaking point driver right there i see an opening fake going over there but look at all this traffic and i'm like oh, okay i'm just gonna let them go fight fight it out and nope i pass him on the outside and i'm like thank you very much and i'm coming out on i think lewis hamilton right here yep that is hamilton i don't know what happened to hamilton but he kept dropping speed he couldn't keep up with the cars ahead so i'm thinking he's got some kind of damage on his car but right now i'm already feeling great you know my qualifying time was not that far off i was like a little over two seconds off of pole which max i think it was max that qualified pole either max or sergio it was one of those people but anyway as the race goes on i'm staring down another car i'm looking at pr gasly now and gasly is doing good this race man are they doing good look at those two cars up there so i'm thinking can i pass him up here nope it doesn't look like 
I'm picking up that much speed even from the DRS and the slipstream so I'm gonna just follow these two see if they're gonna bite it out and it looks like Gasly did nope he didn't pass Alcon but I got into the slipstream and I'm like nope I'm not gonna take the chance don't want to damage the car so I let them go just you know playing it slow right now I'm doing good I'm because I'm in the points I I don't even know when I pass Hulkenberg but I passed Hulkenberg he was driving really slow for some reason so I'm thinking that he him and Lewis Hamilton kind of got into it let's see if he's got some wing damage I can't see the wing because it's not it's not on ultra wide um, I, don't, I don't see any wing damage so I don't know why he was driving slow so right there it was almost like he gave me a brake check and I was like whoa I had to slam on my brake and he's trying to give me the squeeze again and I was like okay Gasly I'm gonna get away from you because you're driving aggressive and now I'm staring down his teammate looking for a pass up here but I was like okay maybe I shouldn't pass him right here just wait to get the DRS then pass him up yeah this is what I did so I'm gonna go on the inside here give him a little squeeze back nope and I got the pass done and up here um, I break late so many times on that curve spun up not not spun up but locked up my tires so bad that uh, these soft tires were pretty much very worn down by the time I pit but I'm really comfortable with this track by now and I think I'm like over two seconds behind yeah it's not showing me the time up there yeah I think I'm about yeah over two seconds behind the next car and I'm like okay I'm happy right here so I'm just gonna keep driving and try to keep those two guys behind me because yeah I don't see myself catching up to the next car and right now I'm already excited that I'm well I think I'm in seventh place right now yep seventh place and I can't believe it right now that I climb all the way to seventh place the grip on the soft tires is really really good you can tell the difference from soft to hard um, well you can tell the difference between all the tires but really major difference is from soft to hard it's just the grip different is man miles miles apart but anyway I'm gonna just gonna fast forward I think I'm gonna come in to pit in the next couple of laps but I'm I'm having a hard time trying to keep those two back behind me. But they they staying with me. I almost a little wide there, understeered coming out of there. Um, I didn't get any track warning, track limit warnings on this race. I did have a one collision warning with someone later on, or maybe it was back there. But yeah. Right now, I'm feeling comfortable. I'm starting to slowly catch up a little bit to the next car. Who is the next car? Alonzo. I mean, I'm just slowly catching up. I think I was catching up like uh, 0.7 per lap. But right there, I seem to come out of that corner a lot better than the AI. And I catch up a lot of time down here and here when I was practicing trying to get out of that turn in third and every time I tap on the throttle I would spin out so I have to come out of that turn in fourth gear now so it's weird it's, it's totally totally different in this year's game so yeah I've been practicing for about a, about a week before I finally felt comfortable and racing pretty much got used to the game and right there I finally caught up to Alonzo and I'm like oh yeah I got him in my sights now I don't know what happened to him but he started slowing down dramatically look at them see he they almost lost sight of him but anyway um 
I think it's this view because I usually go back into the replay and did it because right now I just finished the race and I went into replay and started recording. And um, I'm going to have to play with the graphics a little bit. Here we go. I'm coming up. I got the DRS on Alonzo and I'm like, give me, give me the pass Alonzo. And he finally gave it up. Um, that was a clean pass. Another job done and gonna keep on going. I think not this lap, but the next lap I am gonna come in for medium tires. And right now I'm really excited that I'm into the points. I wasn't even shooting for the points. I was trying to get, you know, to see tenth place at at the at best, pretty much. But you know, I get I I was feeling confident but right here I don't know what happened to I think this is Charles yep it is Charles he he got into the scruffles with um Russell I don't think he's got any kind of damage on his car oh he does have front wing damage right front wing damage on his car that's why he started to slow down okay now Oops. Oh, crap. What lap was I on? <laughs> okay. Was it this lap? Nope. Ninth? It was not ninth. Tenth lap? Eleventh lap? Yeah, I'm right behind Charles here. Sorry about that. I totally skip the video right here so i'm playing it safe i knew something wrong with um charles because he started slowing down dramatically it it was probably the scruffles that he had with george russell that he damaged his front wing and um so far when i was practicing when i damaged my wing you slowed down dramatically it kind of reminds me of f1 2020 as soon as you damage that front wing you lose so much traction um so much speed and i'm like okay um i'm about to pit soon anyway so i'm not even gonna force it i don't want to damage my car i'm just gonna follow charles around and right here and i'm like okay maybe i can just pass him yep i did make the pass and because I knew there was something wrong with Charles. He's driving extra slow. He was losing time on George Russell. But as of right now, I never did pass George Russell. Uh, I think I come in to pit on this lap here. Either this lap or the next lap. Nope, it's the next lap. So right here, I'm just trying to stay within his DRS range. Just trying to get into his slipstream. As you can hear from the sound, I am in a little bit of his slipstream. So it's helping me, uh, pulling me along. The arrow on the car is not all that great. I went back and I tried all kinds of different engines. Um, the Mercedes engines was way too slow. Um, I couldn't keep up with the rest of the view at all. And I didn't want to go with the Red Bull because the, the engine durability was really, really bad. So I selected the Ferrari engine. And I am so surprised that I, I'm way up here now. I'm in sixth place, fifth place. I could not believe it right now. I'm in fifth place and I'm, look at this, I'm about to pass George Russell. I don't know what's happening to George. And did he get some kind of damage on his car? I, I don't see any front wing damage. I don't know. He may have picked up some kind of damage fighting with Charles. I don't know and I don't care. I just passed up George Russell in, in the first year, freshly made car <laughs> with no upgrades so i'm i turn on automatic upgrades again automatic facility upgrades um i i shouldn't have done manual facility upgrades but um anyway apparently this year is supposed to be way more balanced so i 
you know selected it anyway i came into the pit really slow because i totally forgot to practice it but i pulled in perfectly and we're gonna watch the team work and it was a very very fast quick stop it was a 2.4 second quick uh, pit stop look at that the team's working out great and right here i totally forgot the button for the pit re um, not the pit release the limiter right here and i came out extra slow and i saw that tatiana was coming i was like okay tatiana's coming i'm gonna let her go and i squeezed out whoever was chasing her down and i'm like okay tatiana let's go she's in 19th place right now um you know given the car we got and given her experience yeah it's about right it's just she was on the wrong strategy if she was on my strategy i think she could have been much higher but right here i'm just playing it cool just trying to let the tires warm up i'm looking at the tire temperature it's still cold right now so i'm just taking it slow and look at this traffic here they're way back here and look at this fog <laughs> and i'm like okay tatiana i'm gonna pass you right here just follow me i'll get us through this traffic and tatiana was keeping up a little bit but i don't think she's got any damage on her car yeah i don't see any damage on the car so so she did great so i don't know yet if we got damage on our cars Right here, I'm looking for another pass because they are on old medium tires. They're going to have to pit soon. And right there, I took an extra curb, hoping it won't damage my underfloor. But I, I went, um, I raised the suspension up one just to make sure if I did go over that, you know, some curbs, I won't damage the underfloor. But um, the tire wear, I think the update must have been on the tire wear. Um... Because I noticed the tire wear was a little bit more balanced this time around. Because when I was practicing, the tire wear was, oh my goodness, it was horrendous. Anyway, I'm coming up on somebody, Bortas again. Who's he driving for now? Is that a new car? That might be a new car. Nope, it's not a new car. It's just a new look. Okay, so right here, and I'm thinking, I think Bortas is going to pit, so I'm going to just take it slow. Don't want to damage the car, and he, right there, he came out of that corner really bad, and I punched it out of there. I'm like, see you, Bortas. I came out of that a lot better than he did, and Tatiana could not keep up with me. Um, I, I can't blame her. She doesn't have the experience. You know, so anyway, I'm, I'm coming up on the next couple of cars right there. Who is that? It is Piastri and Charles. Charles, yeah, he's got a lot of damage on his car. He dropped down to eighth place and Piastri is right behind him. And such a shame I couldn't hire Piastri on to the team this year you know he is doing good in the mclaren though but i'm nope i'm like hey oscar you remember me <laughs> uh, but anyway i i gave oscar the pass and see you later oscar we are not going to be teammates this year i got tatiana back so if they didn't have the mic uh the the breaking point driver in this year game i probably would have kept tatiana calderon uh keep it all females for f123 here anyway i'm coming up on charles now he got stuck in traffic he can't seem to pass him but it's okay i'm taking it slow i am in the points i'm very very happy right now but i already knew that some of these people up front they're gonna have to pit they're gonna pit in for hards charles already pit in for hards and um I don't know how Charles got in front of me. <laughs> I have no clue how he got in front of me because I was in front of him and I pit. You know, it, the, the pit gl glitch is here again. 
this year and there's somebody go into the pit and i'm over here i'm like okay charles i'm gonna pass you and right now i'm just wondering if charles Fix his front wing. Nope, he did not fix his. No, he doesn't have any damage in his front wing. So why was he driving slow earlier? I thought he got damage on his front wing. That's just the design of the front wing. So yeah, I don't know what happened to Charles earlier. But anyway, we're going to keep on going with the race. And right now, I am in fifth place. And I'm thinking, you know what? I see Russell right now but nope i never did catch up to george russell because right now after i switched tires to medium tires i felt the difference in grip i was not really comfortable at all because i lost so much grip switching out to these medium tires and i started to drive slower so slow that I could not leave Charles behind and he is on hard tires. That's the difference between the impact of the grip between tires that I felt. Um, yeah, because on soft, I felt so much grip on soft and it was just so dramatic. See right there, I understare because I couldn't get enough grip around that curb or that corner. I'm coming out of here and I'm like, okay, look at this. George Russell is pulling away from me. He's on hard tires. I'm on medium tires and I cannot catch up. So I knew right away this was my limits. I am not going to get better than fifth place right now, which is understandable. I am totally super happy right now. I can't believe I'm in fifth place in the first place. So my strategy of going soft to medium works. And right here, look at Charles fighting. He's like, nope, you can't have fifth place. And I'm like, nope, you can't have me back. <laughs> so we keep on going with the race here. And look at this. Charles will not give up fifth place. And right there, you saw that I locked up my tires. Well, where was that smoke? Um, but what you can't see it, but I locked up right there and went wide, and I I was feeling the pressure. Two cars are trying to pass me, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to fight for fifth place. Just just stick with Charles because right now I can feel you know the loss of grip. Like I mentioned, it's just it's so dramatic after I switched tires. I was so fast in the uh, soft tires, but the medium tires. I am, yeah, I, I can't keep up with the hard tires. <laughs> so right now, and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm trying to fight back the fifth spot. And I'm like, okay, I got this because I got into a slipstream and the DRS, but that would not last long. Um, later on, you know, I, I didn't feel comfortable at all. I mean, I, I felt comfortable with the track, but... After I switched tires, I was not comfortable at all with these medium tires. Even though the tires, you know, I kept on checking the pressure. The pressure was spiking up, you know, to, to almost hot at one point. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to slow down. Try to get the tires into the optimal range and just follow Charles. Um, this is the best I'm going to be able to do now. I, I, there's no way I can catch up to george russell he is pulling away from us i think he's like over four seconds getting into five seconds ahead by now and i'm like yeah this is as far as i go even if i can't pass up charles leclerc right now i'm happy in sixth place so as the laps goes on i'm just following charles trying to get the the temperature in the right you know in the right range and you know using the drs and right there tires almost locked up on me i have to slam on the brake a little bit and i'm like okay just stay in the slipstream and just try to keep up with him and just follow him i'm practicing following really close here and it's just like last year if you follow too close 
they'll slow down. I thought they were addressed this this year, but they still haven't addressed it. But whatever, you know, you you can't ask too much of them. They they gotta fix one thing at a time. They only have a year to work on the game, you know. <laughs> But whatever Right here I'm just sticking really close Practicing Getting really comfortable With the track um, Well not with the track I'm getting comfortable with the race It's just You know You have to play this for yourself Once you switch from soft to something else The, the grip level drop from there Is dramatic and yeah, I figure you know, soft, medium. I would I would be looking maybe get into the points, but right now I'm looking at fifth spot, following fifth, and who is that behind us? Alonzo is dropping back. I don't know what's going on with Alonzo. He was keeping up with us for two to three laps, and then now he's just starting to drop speed. And I'm over here just practicing, following really close. Look at this. I'm driving good. So right now the tire is, is is at its optimal range and I still can't feel the grip. But it doesn't matter. I'm just letting Charles pulling me ahead <laughs> using him. We are on lap 20 and I'm like, okay, I'm going to wait, you know, maybe five, six more laps before I pass Charles. But it's like this for laps and laps. I'm just following him and he's losing time on George Russell, which, you know, I, it, does, it doesn't matter to me because I already know I can't catch, catch up to him anyway. So I'm already looking at the points. I'm super happy and I'm like, you know, I'm just going to keep following Charles and I'm just going to let him take me to the finish line and just try to pass him up on the last lap to get a bit more points. That was my thinking anyway But um, later on here I finally took the chance And I'm like okay he's slowing down Nope I'm just going to let him through And right here I was like Should I just wait to get the DRS and pass him Nope I didn't do that Neither one of us got the DRS Nope I got the DRS And he's over there trying to give me the squeeze Nope neither one of us got the DRS <laughs> I think it's the new rules this year that no one gets the DRS if they're side by side but it doesn't matter I finally pass him up and I'm like okay I'm gonna see now that I'm a little bit more comfortable I'm gonna see if I can keep him behind me but look at this I got an engine failure and I was like oh my goodness I am in the points but nope yep the Ferrari engine failed on me and I was like man I should have stuck with the Mercedes engine <laughs> but oh well I just have to bite the bullet but anyway this is the first race and like I said I just finished the race and Max Velocity finished out first he got best time best lap uh, 131.4 and I think Tatiana was 133.5, so she could do a better. And look at this on soft tires. I did the fastest lap on soft tires from getting into the slipstream and the DRS on this race. And let's see. Points. Yeah, Max is leading, of course. Let's look at the race directors. I like to go into the incidents. Looks like I have, yeah. I had a collision with Piastri somehow. I don't know how, but whatever. I, I don't remember touching anyone, but whatever. You know, they gave me a warning for that. And let's see. So who got the fastest stop? Ours was almost a 2.5 second stop, which is a really good stop. Um, Albon's got a 2.3. Wow, that's a quick stop. Look at this. Max velocity, 2.28 stop. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. 2.26 stop from Lando Norris. 
Look at this, another one. Sergio Perez. Those are some crazy pit stops. Looks like three drivers was on soft to medium strategy. Everyone else was on medium to hards. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's race done here at Bahrain. Uh, I'll be back with the next race within the day or two. Uh, anyway, as always guys, thanks for watching. Uh, there's no highlight replays anymore. But anyway, see you guys next time. Peace.